show coming at you. As everybody knows, uh, last week the Republicans held their national convention in St. Paul, Minnesota. It was a huge event. Uh, now, we wanted to cover all the actions, so we sent our good friend Triumph the Insult Comic Dog to the big event, and he filed a report, very professional, made a lot of good points, really opened my eyes. Now, we've already aired Triumph's report, uh, but it turns out Triumph had a chance to speak with some of the political protesters who gathered outside the convention center. You probably saw some coverage. There were a lot of protesters there. Triumph went out, and he talked to them. I think it's important footage. I think it needs to be seen. So here it is, Triumph's visit with the protesters at the Republican National Convention. Let's see what happens. Across from the convention center, everyone with a hopeless cause and or a desperate need for attention is here, including two time-traveling Allman Brothers roadies, armed with signs and four decades of drug abuse. This is the document, folks, right here. Sedition. This sedition. Is Sedition? Yeah. Latest sedition. Latest sedition, okay. <laughs> His puns are from the 17th century, too. <laughs> this is the real thing. The declaration, as, as written by John Hancock and printed at Kinko's. No more impunity for this group. This spineless Congress couldn't come through for the American people. These three people, they took the trouble to get into these costumes, wear these paper mache heads. You're supposedly running the show. You don't even have the courtesy to portray a cop and you're wearing mandals. <laughs> mandals? Are you pregnant, Cheney? <laughs> Everybody's getting pregnant nowadays. Look at that. Oh, what is that? Cheney's, Cheney reads the onion, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Everybody, you guys are really committing to character here. Cheney reads The Onion and the policeman is wearing sandals. Condoleezza That's right. Has white, Condoleezza, has Condoleezza has white hands. <laughs> okay, victims of war. This is serious stuff, see? These people know how to. <laughs> Take my picture with the dog. I'm a victim of war. Being a victim of war is so f***ing awesome. You meet the coolest people. Here, talk to my sister. <laughs> Come on out! The tear gas is delicious! <laughs> What's that? This is a book written by an Indian five years ago, uh, visualizing the rise of a lady in the Democratic Party. So you're saying and, that an and, Indian and an man predicted challenger. this five years ago? Yes, he did. And his name was? Uh, Inder Dan Ratanu. Inder Dan Ratanu. What does it mean? <laughs> I don't know. You know, my God, this is so uninteresting. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which person to go to next. I, I see, just know I'm this, going to go this, to someone this, else. This. Wait, let me see this guy. Inder Dan Ratnu. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, he troubleshoots my Macintosh. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Just look at Good, you may. Okay, and you're protesting look for it. Look at the website. You need to look at the website. What is your cause? Uh, uh, the American Society for Larger Fonts? <laughs> Let's get 10 feet away. <laughs> That's a cause you can really get behind, isn't it? <laughs> Qualifications for an immigrant judge, according to Monica Goodling. Let's start chanting her website, www.dusdoj.gov slash OIG special slash S087 slash finals dot PDF. <laughs> www.usdog everybody slash w o i g slash special slash s o eight o seven slash final pdf what the hell in the 60s everyone would have been chanting this website pete is here everybody our favorite animal rights people. Peter, they always suck you in with the hot women. You know how that is, fellas? You know what I'm talking about. I've been invited to their, uh, to their actual benefits. Never the hottest. You never get the Pamela Anderson Act, the actual benefit. There, it's always like Rue McClanahan. You guys remember Rue? She was the hot golden girl. By hot, I mean that her pubes hadn't turned gray yet. Letting them know that if they're eating meat, they are contributing to global warming and they're really doing a terrible number on their own health. You know, we're hot and 
and we protect the animals. You know, we left our bikinis at home and we brought our pigs. Is this a guy? Is this a guy or a girl under there? This is a male pig. This is a guy under there? And this is our female pig. Is this a fake arm so that you can masturbate inside? Tell me what it's about. It yeah. deals with the uh, the radical Islamist mindset and what they want to do to uh, America. It deals with indoctrination. It's fascinating. I, I, it is. It's very fascinating. You know what's really fascinating? I had no idea that one of the strokes was a Republican. <laughs> Your film is called Homegrown Jihad. The terrorist camps among us. Around here. Oh, he's. this is much more scary. This is an F. Scott Fitzgerald uh, statue. So F. Scott Fitzgerald endorses this. Uh... He probably would. <laughs> Folks, if you love The Great Gatsby, you'll really love homegrown jihad. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from me, F. Scott Fitzgerald. If I could make a movie this good, I would have quit drinking years ago. Anybody else want Scott Fitzgerald to endorse their cause? Where's your book? Where's your book? Give me your book. Hi, I'm F. Scott Fitzgerald. <laughs> if I were on a desert island, I would want, if I could have 10 things, they would be First Lady President, a novel by Inder Dan Ratnu, a DVD of homegrown jihad, the terrorist camps around the US, and eight bottles of scotch. What's this? PoliticalIQ.com. Hi, I'm F. Scott Fitzgerald. I'll endorse anything you can stick to me with gum. <laughs> We invite everyone to come to our screening. It's going to expose who actually these camps are. It's going to blow the roof off of these camps. Well, we hope so. Mark this day in history, folks. September 4th at Matty B's on Wabasha Street. I take it it's a bar, right? Restaurant bar. September 4th at Matty B's. You will never forget what you were dipping your chicken fingers in <laughs> when you saw this film and learned of the terrorist threat in this country. Please, don't let F. Scott Fitzgerald have died in vain. It's a good call. We'll take a break as when we come back. Some call him Finny Some call him Curtis Jackson. We'll see you in a second.